January 2021, astronomers using radio telescopes in Australia and South Africa detected something from the direction of the galactic center. A radio source that appeared, disappeared, changed shape, appeared again, then vanished. They've largely ruled out stars, neutron stars, X-ray binaries, everything natural they could think of. And it's coming from the exact same region of space where 3 Eye Atlas originated. The same direction the WOW signal came from in 1977. Subscribe right now, turn on notifications. Because what I'm about to show you connects unexplained radio signals from the galactic center to an interstellar visitor that just passed Earth. So let's talk about what astronomers found in 2021. Using the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder and South Africa's Meerkat radio telescope, researchers detected a highly polarized, highly variable radio source located just 4 degrees from the Milky Way's galactic center. They cataloged it as ASCAP J173608 band 231635, and it behaved like nothing they'd seen before. The object appeared in radio observations, then disappeared then reappeared with a different shape, then vanished again, then showed up somewhere else. Over the course of one year, monitoring it every two to four weeks, they watched this pattern repeat. And here's what they ruled out. Normal stars, neutron stars, X-ray binaries, pulsars, flaring stars, everything natural they could think of. The signal showed extreme polarization, meaning the light oscillates in only one direction and that direction rotates with time. The brightness varied dramatically by a factor of 100, and the signal switched on and off apparently at random. We've never seen anything like this, the researchers stated publicly. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This isn't the only unexplained phenomenon from that region. In 1977, the WOW signal, the most famous potential extraterrestrial radio transmission ever detected, came from the constellation Sagittarius the same direction, and in 2025, 3i Atlas emerged from that exact same region of space, traveling toward our solar system at 57.7 kilometers per second. Three unexplained events, same direction, decades apart. Now, the 2021 radio source isn't alone. Meerkat observations revealed multiple objects in that region exhibiting similar behavior, appearing, disappearing, changing shape, one scientific paper documented the sequence. Object visible at one hour, gone the next, reappears with different morphology, vanishes again. Shows up elsewhere. This pattern matches work by Dr. Beatrice Villaroel on transient phenomena near Earth. Stars that appear in old photographic plates but don't exist in modern surveys. She thinks it's likely aliens, and she's been ostracized for saying so. But the galactic center transients? Mainstream astronomy can't dismiss them as easily, because they were detected by multiple independent telescopes, published in peer-reviewed journals, confirmed by teams across different institutions, and the researchers openly admitted, we don't really understand these sources, or but no natural explanation fits the data, so why does this matter for 3i Atlas? Because 3i Atlas came from the same region showing unexplained radio activity and optical transients, and 3i Atlas itself exhibits behavior that doesn't fit natural models. Anti-tail extending 400,000 kilometers toward the sun. Rotation axis aligned with the sun to within 7 degrees. Trajectory aligned with the ecliptic to within 5 degrees. Each geometric alignment has percent level probability. Combined, below 0 0.001, 1 in 10,000. And SETI's response? They observed 3i Atlas for 5 hours, found no radio signals, declared case closed. 5 hours. For an object that spent 8,000 years crossing the solar system from the Oort cloud to perihelion. That's like checking your messages for 5 minutes once a year and complaining nobody contacts you. Meanwhile, the galactic center, the region 3i Atlas originated from, shows persistent unexplained radioactivity spanning years. Objects appearing and disappearing signals switching on and off, behavior that defies natural classification. Now, let's be clear about what we're saying and what we're not saying. We're not claiming 3i Atlas is definitely artificial. We're not claiming the galactic center transients are definitely alien technology. What we're saying is this. 
The region of Space 3i Atlas came from shows multiple unexplained phenomena that don't fit natural models. Radio sources that appear and disappear, optical transients that change shape. The wow signal from 1977. And now an interstellar object from that same region exhibiting geometric alignments with combined probability below 0.00001. That's not proof, but it's context. Context that SETI ignored by observing for five hours and declaring the search complete. Context that mainstream astronomy dismisses by inventing explanations, invisible comets, different physics, new stellar classes, rather than seriously investigating the anomalies. And context that matters when deciding whether to keep watching 3i Atlas as it approaches Jupiter in March. So here's where we are. The galactic center shows unexplained radio and optical transients, objects appearing and disappearing with no natural explanation. 3i Atlas came from that region, exhibiting geometric alignments with combined probability 1 in 10,000. And on March 16th, it reaches Jupiter at exactly the hill radius where gravitational capture becomes possible. If something separates from 3i Atlas and enters Jupiter's orbit, we'll know it wasn't random. If you want to follow this story as those observations come back, subscribe and turn on notifications. Because the region 3i Atlas came from is still active, still producing signals we can't explain. And whether that's connected to this visitor or not, it's a question worth asking. I'll see you in the next one.